Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about app data. In-house cloud applications are data-driven and event-driven. What this means is that your applications work and respond to data and events. All right. So in this video, we're going to go over app data. So what is app data? Simply put, app data is data in your app. This is data. This, this could be static data right from just like initializing your app with some data. This could be dynamic data. This is when you maybe get data from external sources like databases or using API calls, right? Or this could be generated data. This is um, user generated data, right? Or data generated while your app is being used. So all of this all fall in the bucket of app data. So if you go over here to the left panel, to click on the visual states tab, you're going to see two tabs. One is going to say live app data, and this is going to be in the app builder. This is going to show you the state of the application in real time. This is basically um, just a way to debug your applications in real time. And to the left of it, you're going to see the initial app data. So this is basically your initial state. Right, so if you were trying to work with maybe external data, or if you were trying to work with like static data, you would initialize uh, that data here, right? So um, in this video, quickly, we're going to just convert this to cards, right, to something that interacts with our application data, all right? And we're going to be using static data for this uh, short video. All right, so I have two cards here. I have two headers and two uh, paragraphs, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and just make this as simple as it can be. I'm going to go into my visual states in the initial app data, right? I am just going to change this here to say header text, header text one. I'm going to give this simple message of header one, all right? Same thing, header text two. I'm gonna give it a simple value here of header two. All right, you guessed it, paragraph text one. All right, and give it a text here of paragraph one. Finally, paragraph text two. Paragraph two. All right, so we're done with our initial state or our initial app data. I'm gonna go ahead and save this, all right, and then refresh my page. So now the app has been reinitialized. And now if I were to click back in my visual states in the live app data, I can see my initial app data is now my live app data. This means I can go ahead and use it within my application. So if you were getting data from an external source, a database, it's always going to go into the live app data. But it's also a good idea that if you're going to use data within your applications, right? You might want to initialize said data before, you know, in your initial app data before you interact with it and build with it. All right. So I'm going to go here and bind this data. I'm going to click on the element settings to get to the attributes. I'm going to switch from static text. So this text is currently static and this is a static value. I'm going to go ahead and switch to dynamic text and I'm going to go in here to dynamic text and provide the value. All right. So you can do this multiple ways. You can do this without code. You can do this with code. I'm going to go ahead and do this without code and then I flip around and do it with code. All right. So using our script user interface, and we're going to cover this in a uh, future video. Um, I'm going to stay in the text uh, mode and I'm going to just type in parameter, right? And as you can see, it gives me the option for parameter app 
data. So this is going to be where you can reference the entire app data. I'm going to select that. All right. So now I'm going to just map into it by using the map in here. And I think we called it, let me see, heading, header text one. Let's copy that value and paste that in here. All right. As you can see, it's been mapped properly. All right. So that's the first one. We did this completely without code, right? But just referencing the parameter app data, which is how you reference app data in this application all over the place. And then, you know, mapping into it to header text one. We're going to do the same thing for paragraph one. I just switched elements. I'm also going to make this dynamic text. So I'm going to say use dynamic text is true. And then I'm going to come in here. Last time we used text and we referenced the parameter variable. Um, I'm going to use code this time. And it's going to be the exact same thing. All I have to do is just type it in. If this gets too tight, you could just simply get to full screen mode and just type parameter, all caps, dot app data, capital A underscore capital D. All right. Let me close that out. And as you can see, we've referenced our app data and we are looking for um, paragraph text one. Just copy that. Go over here dot and paste that in. All right. So that's paragraph one and I could do the exact same thing here. All right. Use dynamic text. I'm going to use code here. Parameter the app underscore data. And I'm going to reference header text to dot header text to and over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. It's um, dynamic text. But here I'm going to use no code. All right. I'm going to go over here, say parameter, app data. So there are different parameters, just so you know. So if I go back here and just type in parameter again, um, there are different parameters, um, list item data, uh, list item index in list, Paths to list item. We're going to cover this in future videos, but for now, we're just going to use app data. We're going to map into it, and I think we call it uh, header text two. All right. And there you have it. So, um, this is basically the fundamentals of app data. This is data within your application. Um, you could use this for anything. Um, you know what? I'm feeling very generous. Let's do a bonus section. All right. So I'm going to drag in an input. This is going to be fun. Drag in an input. Just put it here. And we're going to, let's see, we're going to reference. We're going to reference the variable. Let me find it for paragraph text one. All right. So I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to bind this to the imputes. So here we have app data field. So this is basically um, an easy way to bind your elements to your form elements to app data, right? So we also have, uh, let me click out of that. Oops, did it again. All right. So we have this app data field, which is a quick way to just bind um, an element to app data. I'm going to change the the pointer here to point to um, paragraph text one. So now we have that in our imputes. And let's say I wanted to change this to something else. Uh, today is a beautiful day to work with a low code platform. All right. So there you have it app data. See you in the next one.